Hello children and good morning to all of you. This is grade 3 Ralph Public School, chapter number 12. The name of the chapter is Measures of Length. In today's topic, we are going to talk about length. What do you understand with the word length? Length means to identify of any of the object's length. Whether you can measure the length of this marker, yourself or to the blackboard or to the any other objects. So in today's topic we are talking about introduction of kilometers and centimeters. With the help of a scale, with the help of a scale, we can measure the length of any object. You can choose any object by yourself and to measure the length of any objects we need scale. So here I am drawing one scale, as you can see here scale, uh, numbers 0 to 10, 11 I am writing here and between 0 to 1 there are total 10 lines, 10 small lines you can see. But in the middle you can see one more big line. What it means? It means 0 0.5. This is M, means millimeter. So between 0 to 1, there are total 10 lines. And the, after the 10 lines, you get one number. After that, you can see another 10 lines and you get the number 2. Another 10 lines, you get number 3. So, the lines you can see inside the numbers, these are called millimeters. So, both the long edges of a scale are marked with the centimeters called cm and millimeters called mm. It is used to measure the length of a line segment. As you can see, there are so many lines drawn on both the sides. Or both the sides of a scale shows us centimeters and millimeters. Cm is the unit of, can you guess why we say cm and what unit what is the unit of cm? Cm is a unit of centimeter. As it comes out from c from centi and m from the meter. So we said centimeter. Next we talk about mm is the unit of. What do you understand with the word mm? So it's called millimeter. So first m is represent milli. As we are writing milli. And the another M is for meters. So we said it millimeter. So students, centimeter CM is a unit of centimeter and MM is a unit of millimeter. Now, as I already told you, between 1 centimeter to 2 centimeter or you can say 0 to 1 centimeter, there are total 10 lines. So students, we can say the 10 centimeter, sorry, 10 millimeter is equals to 1 centimeter. So you can see it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So between 8 to 9, there are total 10 lines. So 10 mm is equals to 1 centimeter. I hope you all understand. Now how I have to write these numbers and the middle big line. So for this, I am writing 8 cm. For this one, the middle big line, I am going to write 8.5 cm. That means 8 cm and 5 mm. Or I can write 8 cm and 5 mm. Both are correct. Whether I am saying 8.5 cm or whether I said 8 cm and 5 mm, both are correct. And for 9, I am going to write 9 cm. Between 8 to 9, there are total 10 mm. Between 8 to 9, there are total 10 mm. In between, we get the number 8.5. I hope students, you all understand the method and the meaning of centimeter as well as the millimeter. Now you can keenly observe the scale which 
you all have at your home and in our live interaction I'm definitely going to ask you about the centimeters as well as the millimeters. So students, thank you so much for today's lecture. I hope you all enjoy it.